And only in grade 11 as the two sides that take the field. Yeah. Table is set. International rugby at Bukobruchstraat. And it is taken in by Jakub Grobla of Fichard Park High School from the kickoff. And line out missed. Tui Pelotu on the charge. He's so dangerous. Good tackle from Carl Smith, but England on the front foot. Davis. Inside ball to Nick Lilly. Gets it away to Charlie West. Was there a South African hand involved in that? Yes, that's the referee. That's the Sean Miller. Beautiful offload, Brecken. Monster hit by JC Mars on his opposite number. But then uh, stretched over the line by Junior Kapoku. The back kept early to Pelotu, just brushing off the first defender with ease. That sets them on the front foot, and then it's all about the handling, the vision, the calmness in possession. All series long. Strike was good. And the flags are raised. The assistant rip. African under-18s. England pinned in their own 22 at this stage. Davis wants to change that. An opportunity here for Carl Smith. Gets his pass away on the outside. Beautifully flung inside. JC Mars. Hot step on his home paddock. South Africa is going to be level. In JJ Teron, he put Lucas Friday under all sorts of pressure at the breakdown. Forced Friday to pick up from the base when really he wanted to kick. The attack. Just look at that step off the right foot. One of those ankle breakers. And Nick Lilly on the angle, what a run, under the sticks, we spoke about him last night, we said he's had a quiet series, he'll probably pitch up Talked today. about that England is so dangerous off, created by that play, and then it's soft hands from Ronan Daniel, the back row forward to just release Lilly on a lovely line. Magic under the sticks, Lilly. we spoke about him last night. Good scrum by South Africa, massive scrum, in fact, and they win the penalty. Just look at what it means to Liam Mfupi and company. Mfupi, Erasmus. It's more than just those three, it's an eight-man effort. Even Captain JJ Trons, uh, England. That was a big scrum by England and a kick forward by Friday. JC Mars does really well in turning around and fielding it. Gets it away to US there. Some space now for South Africa. Back into the hands of uh, outside centre Gino Cupido. See you later. Under the sticks goes. We spoke about England on the counter attack, their exciting backline. We didn't speak about that feature of South Africa's play, but we should have. That is a lethal counter attack and a tidy finish from Cupido. But again, we see it's that threat of. On a stop for thin over that ball quickly for South Africa. The possession retained by England Friday with a box kick sends it high into the pole sky. The dangerous JC Mars with the ankle break step immediately finds space, but he's well lined up by uh, Tui Pelotu. Norton shifting it on to Jakub Krobla, his lock partner. Smith, Gino Cupido leaves it behind. Cheswell Uester in space. Cheswell Uester, electrifying pace. It's the Uester and Marso. Box kick goes to him. His step gets South Africa on the front foot. And then this man, Cheswell Uester. Struck it well. What a kick from Carl Smith. Eventually, it is taken in by Gino Cupido, who's been having a good game as well. Penalty. Who else but Kipu Tui Peloto? 
He's doing it on his own at this stage. Massive contact between him and Johnny Erasmus. Sella. Carl Smith with a near interception. England a couple of meters out on the charge. They come and they're over. over. Yeah, Toby Baker running hard and running straight. I think the question there was whether it was knocked on by South Africa and then in return by England might be a case to answer for that. But there was no case for stopping Toby Baker. Politely, the South Africans to move over. Overthrown, Mdebelele. Poor mistake by the England captain, Mdebelele. Centimeters away, in fact, he's crashed over. Siposete Mdebelele. I raise you this try. Well, what a way for South Africa to finish the second half. Mdebelele. As you. I said it was Sean Miller, but it is, in fact, Jonathan Lottering, the referee. The double movement. Spotted by Egan second demo. And uh, England just get it off the park as quickly as they can. And uh, at half time, as runs being scored between the two of them in 2023. Purchased for Uffies and uh, Kyle Smith for Paul Jim. The rolling mall gets set. Tui Peloto has to exit. Still. The momentum with the South African side, Mnebelele breaks away. It's just short. And then over they go. It is the captain, JJ Tron, who spotted the space. Could be just about as important as any. A massive mall from South Africa. Kapoku actually did really well to get on the ball. But South Africa, as a result of that, as this mall develops, break off from the fringe and it's actually the breaking off from the fringe of the mall that allows the space to open up that Seron's then able to take advantage of and just look at that picks the ball and blast blastery conditions here in Paul today strike is good back for South Africa purchase long ball JC Mars he's done a hamstring or a cough might even just be cramped for JC Mars. Yanko purchase. Long ball, space now. Nyali gets it away to Scott Nell. Nell one on one. Scott Nell finishes off expertly and brilliantly. Beautiful little dink through. Lovely pass from purchase. Calm play from Nyali. But Nell. A lovely foot. A little trick play at the front of the line out. Alfie Longstaff. Longstaff crashes over. No. Touch judge. Has a judged him to be out. Will Jonathan Lottering maybe refer this? Well, it was a clever move, wasn't it? Kapoku at the front gets the offload to Longstaff. I think the touch judge has got that right. I think that. So they play quickly. Louis Platt. With a kick pass to the outside, it's too much on it. And South Africa has a name, dramatic comeback.